Hey guys, welcome back to the Talk Center YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be checking out some of the funniest Steven Crowder college guest freakouts. But first, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and much more. Hit the bell too so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, let's get right into it. Number one, we kick things off with an audience member that gets into an argument with Steven. The woman gets pretty angry and starts shouting at Crowder and there's a little bit of back and forth. Take a look. There you go. It sounded better when you were yelling it with the chorus of backdrops. Let me explain. Okay, can I answer your question? Can I answer your question? Do you want an answer? Would you like an answer? Here's what's in No, you don't know the answer, sweetheart. Let me- The audience member asks a question and she was very heated and in the end was very dismissive. Steven eventually answered her question and it turned into an epic mic drop. He was not messing around. He burnt a lot of people with that one. I'm sure there were people that weren't pleased, but for the rest of the crowd, they were absolutely loving it. Number two, now we have Steven Crowder ranting in this next clip. Once again, this is him just speaking his mind on a panel show, and he once again really gets the crowd going with what he says. Best Democrats, hippies, the retreads that you guys want to be, because they thought they were fighting the system. They thought they were trying to create transparency. They really thought they were for free speech. You people are openly and completely against it. You're not. This was him again ripping into these sensitive people in the crowd that like playing the victim. He clearly had just about enough of them and called them out. Number three, Crowder, who seemed to be in, at a panel talk and he was just in the mood to have a good time, crack jokes and just have a good discussion about a thing. But someone in the crowd got offended during the conversation and Crowder went off on this guy. Time to listen up you silly liberal fruitcakes. I came out here wanted to tell some jokes. Let's do some reality checks here. Do you have any idea, sir, how pathetic it must be to be you? These people wanted to come out and have a good time, hear a few jokes. Yeah, Crowder was going on a whole rant and he was not pulling any punches. He was purely just speaking his mind and didn't care how the person he was talking about would feel. The thing Steven was saying really got the crowd going. They were really enjoying it. After he says that he didn't want to go on such a rant, but it's the fault of those people who were trying to get offended, and they're the ones that created this monster. Number four, Steven Crowder was having a rant, and he had a lot of things to say that got a little tense during the rant. You screwed them with the taxes on small businesses. You screwed them with a healthcare mandate that they couldn't afford, then punished them to force them to buy healthcare insurance when they didn't want to, and then raise those premiums 25%. And the people who did vote for Obama, who were even more privileged- He didn't stop there. He had so much more to say, and he even took a jab at someone, and what he said was really funny. Look at and this. mandated to pay for somebody else's abortion. You screwed them by putting Lena Dunham's sorry face or ass, I don't know which, when she's on the air and made her a wing of your party. Really? Steven doesn't care. He will say it how it is. And a lot of the time, what he says can be pretty funny too. Like what he said at the end of that clip. Number five. Steven was talking about a plus size woman and he made a joke about the woman he was talking about and it is so outrageously funny, you need to hear it for yourself. She's a large girl. This is not an example of a plus size model. This is not an example of a woman with a natural body type, Tess Holliday. This is a morbidly obese woman. Okay, for people who are not, who are listening to Rashley, look at the picture. I mean, her blood type is pudding. Steven really said that her blood type is pudding. What the hell, man? That is insane! That was such a crazy joke that came out of the blue. It's bloody hilarious. Number six. The next clip will really crack everyone up. A woman was arguing that marriage was not about equality, and she said that being given away by your father and given to your husband is basically a woman being seen as property. What Stephen had to say about that was pretty damn funny. Not to mention brutal. Even today, marriage is not about equality. It's about perpetuating male privilege. Being given away by your father may seem cute and romantic, but it stems from a time when women were seen literally as their fathers. Wow, I wish that woman would hear what she said just so we can see her reaction. It would have made it even funnier, without a doubt. Number seven. This is Steven going off and having a fun right at the start of the panel while calling out SJWs. He even made a joke about Milo Yiannopoulos, who was a fellow panelist. This monster right here that you're so afraid of, the face you see in your nightmares, was created by social justice warrior assholes like you. And now you have, and now you have this wonderful 
little faggot. Milo was enjoying it too. Stephen called him a faggot jokingly, and Milo replied saying that he could call him whatever he likes. It was all in good spirits. Those are some of the funniest Stephen Crowder college guest freakouts. Which one of yours was your favorite? Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and so much more. Click the bell too so that you don't miss out on any videos that we upload. Anyway, take care everyone and we will see you in the next one. Bye now.